What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Active noise canceling earbuds. Do they have to be expensive? Well, the ones that have been expensive have generally been the ones that have worked best for me. But I wanted to try and see if I could find some uh, noise canceling earphones uh, to use when I'm traveling, particularly on airplanes, which just tend to have a lot of white noise. That hum and drone of the airplane tends to make like the audio from music and movies just uh, kind of fade away. So active noise canceling works really well. Now, these are by OVC apparently, H15. And I wanted to check them out because they were some of the least expensive ones and uh, just kind of show this to you. Now, uh, what I want to do here is show you that I picked up this Amazon Fire 7 tablet because I loaded this sucker up with this SD card in here with a bunch of movies. And that's because this is kind of my travel tablet, but it has a three and a half millimeter headphone jack there. And that should work with this. And that allows me to be able to kind of cheapen up my purchase here because things with a built-in lightning port can be a little more expensive. Now, I'm pretty excited about checking this out because uh, it wasn't a super expensive set of earbuds, but everything so far looks like it's pretty high quality. Comes with a little hard case, which is great because I've even shown you, I picked up a case or a set of earbud cases because they don't often come with their own case, which is cool. Now, wow, this one is really nice. It's got the foam insert here, and that's because not only is it earbuds, but you have this device right here, which is, I think, picking up the ambient sound and then creating basically the anti-noise. There's also a battery in there because to do active noise canceling, you actually have to have power. And because these are three and a half millimeter uh, headphone jack enabled, it doesn't pick up power from the jack itself, not like the lightning connectors. Um, I'm trying to figure out what we all have here. Oh, it looks like there's a little uh, crusty crust on there. Keep that in mind. Uh, micro USB cord here for recharging it. We also have a headphone uh, splitter. This one's a little weird to me. It's like a dual headphone jack to one. So maybe if you have a left and right audio output, that'll work through there. I'm not actually sure that I need that. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna put that back because that seems like it's gonna plug into an amp or something like that. Okay, so here are the earbuds. I love the fact that they have this foam insert in there. And you can see here, we also have a mesh pocket there so you can keep those cables and everything close. Now here is the set itself. What's kind of interesting is we have an angled 90 degree uh, four pole uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And then we also have nylon braiding on the cable. And then only about six inches up, we have the OVC control panel itself here, which is pretty small. I mean, it's actually pretty nice. This is like a raised piece here on like a metal top. The back here appears to be plastic. Here's the micro USB port for charging it up. And then here is presumably the power button, which is like a, a mills aluminum. Then we have more nylon cord. And it's also kind of interesting is we have like a little leather clip there for you know, holding everything together. You could probably lose that pretty easily. And then we have more earbuds, everything's just all wrapped up here. So if we keep traveling up here, we've got quite a bit of long cord. So the device here, this little control panel on the battery is gonna be pretty low. It's gonna be connected almost to your device itself. We have a little lapel clip, plastic lapel clip that should slide up and down here. And then we have a control panel here for, looks like base, switch on and off base. And then we have positive minus there for track advance or rewind or volume up and down and then a little mode button right there for switching modes play pause that kind of thing we have the the split here which is also nylon braided covering all the way up to the earbuds themselves so here we have them and nice construction metal construction up here and then we have you know winged silicone looks like we've got medium cups on there so depending on how big your ear canals are uh we also have additional ear cups here. Looks like they're the same size to me. So it looks like they're just replacements. We don't have additional sizes. I'm gonna just pull this off here and see how that comes off. So there you can see it just like that. My, I bet you could probably want on just one of the regular ear cups, but having this whole piece over here would probably not be comfortable. And there's a little hook which holds this on. So you almost have to use these 
this design, and I'm not sure if that's proprietary, but you're gonna want those on there. And then we have, uh, looks like little pickups here. This little screen here presumably has a microphone or maybe down here, uh, maybe so that you can use this actually to take calls, but uh, this should pick up kind of the ambient noise and cancel it out. So uh, nice looking set of headphones. Now, I also think if you plug this in, it'll probably work as regular headphones. But if you hold this down, this is the piece that I'm assuming creates your active noise canceling. And I think it is dead right now. So let's get this charged up and then try it out. All right, guys, so I've been playing around with these things and I have some criticisms, and, but I do like them overall. First of all, for whatever reason, you know, these ear cups, and I think it's basically this piece right here because it's so bulbous uh, behind the little, um, the little insertion piece into the ear canal there. You know, for me, they don't fit great. It is nice to have these little wings because those do fit into my ear here and actually kind of hold them in. And because they're so big, that actually is kind of almost a requirement. What you can see here, um, so basically what I'm trying to say is like the small dedicated earbuds, you know, like the little bullet ones, they fit in and I can kind of wedge them in. This, because there's so much bulk right behind that initial silicone, you can't get them into your ear that far. Now, I will say these work fine and when I'm using them, it, they really do literally work and they sound okay, but I wish I had a little bit more fine control, especially when you have a lot of external noise like on an airplane. Uh, you can kind of get some sound leakage. So just on noise isolation, I don't think they are the best, but that is a trade-off because you need more hardware up here to create that active noise canceling. Now, I will say also, what I was kind of hoping is that they would be magnetic so that you could kind of clip them around your neck or something like that. But as far as I can tell, they are not, so they don't stick together. Okay, but what I do want to show you here is I had these in here and was watching a Hallmark movie, um, and I figured out how this remote works. So what it shows here is uh, two little lights, and it's on active noise canceling when this one is on. This is your power light. And if I tap it once, it goes uh, off or on. And let me just hit um, power or hit play. So I can hear everything, and if I hit it here, now I've got the active noise canceling. So the active noise canceling totally works. I mean, I can hear myself clapping, but if I turn it off, you get that kind of full, uh, you know, full bass on it. But when you turn it on, you get that kind of muffled, um, kind of softer noise. You know, you know what it's like if you listen to noise canceling. And so what I've also noticed is that the appliances and things around me are almost all blocked out. So it really does work. So I'm pretty excited about having these on my next trip when I'm on the airplane or train or even in a car ride, to be really honest. I mean, these can be useful uh, anytime, but it's just nice that uh, they absolutely deliver on the active noise canceling. So many earbuds I've gotten have said active noise canceling and they really don't. They either don't work or they're just a passive noise canceling or noise isolating. Now, I, I will say that I think one of the problems with this uh, and it's the, just the nature of any uh, earbud set that's gonna use the three and a half millimeter jack is that you're gonna have to charge them up. And I don't know how long this is. It seems like a fairly decent sized battery. So my hope is that you'd get six, seven hours of a charge and kind of an all day use on it. But it's not that big, nor is it that heavy, but you do have to charge this up. And once it's dead, you're gonna only have regular earbud capability, not the noise canceling. So OEC, I'm pretty excited about them. I'm gonna take them on my next trip with me, uh, using them with this, this tablet, which I said is just an awesome, awesome deal too. So pick these up or the tablet in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.